Hi, I'm Mike from Master Predator Hunting. I'm going to talk to you today about the hottest product in predator hunting, uh, thermal products. Uh, absolutely exploding, lots of interest, a lot of people are starting to use thermal and a lot of my customers have called me and asked me uh, a lot of questions about thermal. Uh, one issue is that thermal isn't something you can go to your local store and just look through and pick up. So I'm going to try to give you some specifications of uh, thermal monoculars today. Um, I'm an authorized pulser dealer. I sell a lot of pulser products, thermal scopes, thermal monoculars, um, but any product you want, um, let me know. I can get it for you. I get to the cheapest price I'm allowed to sell it for is what I sell everything at. Um, so whether you buy from me or somebody else, just make sure you're dealing with an authorized uh, retailer uh, for thermal products due to the expense that's involved. You'll be much happier down the road should you ever need any type of uh, support. So today I want to talk to you about this unit right here, uh, which is the uh, PL77325. It's the Pulsar Quantum HD 19A. Very popular model. Uh, probably the most popular model that I stock right now. Um, but let's take a look at it, okay? This is the unit. It's a, a 1 to 2x by 16 thermal imaging monocular. Um, the pixels are 384 by 288. The refresh rate is uh, 30 HZ. It's got a single magnification, a power of 1 essentially. Uh, the objective lens is 19 millimeters. Uh, the field of view is um, 26 degrees horizontal and 21 degrees vertical and the manufacturer says the maximum range for detection on this unit is 514 yards. Okay, <clears throat> if you're looking for a monocular that has a 2x magnification, I also sell the Pulsar PL77323 which is known as the HD38A. Uh, it's very similar to this unit. The biggest difference is that it's a 2 to 4 to 32 and the magnification power is actually a 2 instead of a 1. Uh, the objective lens is a little larger, it's 38 millimeters. The field of view is 14.2 degrees horizontally and 10.8 degrees vertically. But the maximum detection range on the 38A is 1,006 yards uh, according to the manufacturer. Uh, both units are extremely light. This unit here is 11 ounces and the 38A is 12 ounces. So really compact. In fact, I, you can put it in your pocket to use. Um, I'm just going to run through it with you really quick. All right. The first thing is thermal can be somewhat intimidating if you've never used it before. The entire instruction manual for this product is only 10 pages and the pages are really small. Um, so it's really, I found, very simple to use the first time that I opened it and I tried it. it. Took me about 10 minutes at most to, I think, completely figure out this unit. So don't have any fears about that. Essentially what you're going to do with this unit is, just to show you a couple features, okay, this is the lens. It opens and closes with just a simple twist. It'll work at night, it'll work during the day. It works both, you can see through it. That's your eyepiece. This shield is to block out any ambient light that you might have. Another nice feature here is it runs on four AA batteries and it comes with the batteries as well. Uh, they recommend a rechargeable battery of 2,500 mAh as a minimum. Um, I use N-loop batteries, um, it came with energizers, but simple rechargeable batteries simply just goes in, locks in place. To turn the unit on, there's an on button in the back, you just hit the on button, and then inside there's a nice display, it's very simple to use. It gives you a couple different options, whether or not you want to set it for a city environment, if you want to set it for a forest environment 
or if you want to manually adjust the environment that you're in. Um, it has white hot and black hot. What that means is the image that has the heat signature is going to show up as white and white hot or black and black hot. Um, I recommend, I like white hot, but if you're in a situation where you're in a very light colored field, um, like a soybean field or there's light grasses growing, uh, I think black hot to me is much better because you have a real contrast with the background. If you're in a dark environment, uh, like a forest environment, uh, any type of just dark terrain, the white hot's the way to go for me. It makes the objects, the animals, the people, whatever you're viewing, appear much brighter because of the contrast between the thermal image and the background okay. color. Another feature that's really handy is this button on the front, when you turn the button, it controls how bright the image is coming into your eye. So it becomes extremely bright if you want it to. It looks like daylight. It's very bright. It's amazing. Um, but you can use this knob to control the brightness that suits your eye best. Um, one thing I would recommend though is that if you're going to shoot with a non-thermal scope, I recommend that you, if you're going to have your right eye in your scope, that you do your scanning with your left eye because the illumination inside makes your pupil get smaller and when you take your eye off the monocular and then go into the scope you have maybe a four or five second adjustment period till your pupil opens back up again. Uh, if all you're using is thermal on your scope and your monocular is not an issue but if you're just using the monocular to scan with and you're going to use a traditional scope, um, something to keep in mind. In my state, I can't hunt with this unit, um, so I just go out and I actually call in animals and just look at them with no guns, no gear, just the unit. Um, but, you know, my observations that I share with you from using this is, first of all, you're not going to see uh, detail like you are through a scope. Um, but what you are going to find is um, bigger animals with the one power magnification are extremely noticeable. When you have a deer in a field, I've had situations where I've called in some fox and there's deer in the field. Deer just look gigantic. So the one power magnification, to me, I like it for bigger animals, um, javelina, um, feral hogs, feral pigs, whatever. Um, deer, but if you're going to mostly hunt raccoon or fox or something really small, you might want to take a look at the uh, 38A with the two power magnification. Uh, the first time you look through this, at least for me, what really struck me was not so much picking up the animals in the thermal signature, but I was really surprised because when I looked around and it was pitch black, I could see houses, I could see trees, it was really like to me somebody turned on the sun and I could see everything. Um, so that's what hit me first. That was really, I guess, enlightening. I guess I didn't really think about other objects besides the mammal that was going to have a heat signature that I could see through this. Um, smaller animals, I pick up better when they're moving. If they're moving in and out of grass, you might lose them for a second. Um, bigger animals I never lose. You know, something the size of a, say, a coyote or a javelina or a deer or a bear, those kind of things um, just scream at you through this. And uh, even, even pretty far out, it's really easy to tell whether or not you're looking at a deer or, say, a canine such as a, a fox, a coyote, uh, just because the size difference is tremendously different. Um, but it's great. It's really easy to use. Another observation that really kind of blew me away was looking through fog. I went out purposefully on a night that had a lot of fog. I could maybe see 20 yards or so, 30 yards. Um, shined a light. I got all the light back in my face. Couldn't see anything. And when you look through this device 
through fog, the fog's not there. It just, it's, a, it's amazing. It just sees right through the fog as if there was no fog to begin with. So if you're in an area where you like to do wildlife viewing or hunting where you run into a lot of fog, these things are really great at night. Um, let me tell you what comes with this one, okay? Um, basically, like I said, here's the unit. Kind of went through it with you. It really is easy. There's not much to it. Um, but with it, it's kind of nice. They give you a spare battery pack. So if you're going to be out all night, um, I haven't gone through the batteries yet. Um, you just recharge them when you're done. Put them back in again if you have rechargeables. But if you're using store batteries that aren't rechargeable, you can bring a second set with you. So that's great. I appreciate having that feature. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you also get a car charger. So if you're viewing at night through your car, you can run it through a cigarette lighter um, and save your batteries. If you'd like to purchase optional camera recording equipment, that's great. You can hook up cameras to record um, through it. I haven't done that. That doesn't interest me that much at night. Um, I'm more interested in the actual um, seeing the animals, I guess. Um, you have your instruction book, very simple. You get your carrying case with it. And uh, for the money, it's pretty neat and it's pretty easy to use. Thermals come a long way. And if you do decide to go with thermal, I hope you have a great experience. I hope you enjoy it. It's amazing what it can do. But this is the Pulsar 19A. And if you're interested, please check out my website. I greatly appreciate your business. Hope the video helped you. Thank you very much. Enjoy wildlife viewing. Enjoy hunting. Take care.